What's up guys? So in today's video, I'm going to show you all of these items that sold in just 45 minutes. All right guys, so first off, I just want to thank Robin and Kim and T for inviting me on their marathon auctions this past weekend. Um, and I also want to give a special shout out to Rhonda who did a fantastic job of moderating. This auction was super fun. There were 40 sellers. I will drop the links um, in the description in this video down below. Um, and I will also drop the link to the auction that I was on and where you can find it if you want to review. Um, but I'm going to show you guys what sold in 45 minutes. I did all buy it nows. Um, would I do it again? Um, yes, but <laughs> there's gotta be a but. Maybe to not this extent on a regular auction, I will consider it um, with a marathon auction in the future, but I also want to give people a chance to bid. I don't want it to just be um, just the person that can type the fastest in the chat wins the item. Um, so maybe I'll do a mixture. I don't know. I just, um, I did this because I wanted to challenge myself and see how many lots I could show in a short period of time. Um, I was very fortunate, um, to get a little bit longer of a time slot only because, you know, there were certain circumstances where weather affected other resellers from being able to come on at a certain time. So I feel very blessed to be able to have um, that time. I had a lot of fun um, and I'm super excited. So being able to bring this many items in a short period of time came at just the right time. I have two storage units that I'm looking at for next week to try to bid on and win. So we'll see. <laughs> We'll see how that goes. But anyway, let me dive into this video and show you what sold. Okay guys, so literally I have a cheat sheet next to me. I'll try to talk fast. I always want, I always think that my videos are gonna be short and not super long. And then when I go to edit them, I'm like, oh my gosh, I talk forever. And I talk slow guys, I'm so sorry. That's just the way I talk. Sometimes I literally try to speed up my voice in the video because I can tell that I talk really slow. So I really apologize for that. Okay, the first lot that sold was this watch lot right here. I sold these five watches. These three watches right here, there were two Beverly Hills Polo Club and one Fossil Watch. Um, those actually came out of a storage unit that I bought this past week. Um, this Fossil Watch is gorgeous. I wanna take the time to show you this real quick. Um, the face of it is just really beautiful. Um, the band is a little bit rough. It needs to be replaced, but it is just a beautiful, beautiful watch. So this lot sold for just $20. Okay, the next lot over here, were these um, Duck Dynasty dolls and playing cards. These dolls work. I didn't get the sophisticated gene of this family. I started the sophisticated gene of this family. And when you don't know what you're doing, you might as well do it quickly. Okay, so these little dolls and these playing cards sold for just $7. Okay, the next slot right here, these are all the bracelets I bought. So this top row of bracelets, there's 25 bracelets per row. Um, this top row of black bracelets sold for $32. There's some really gorgeous ones. I didn't get a chance to really show them. And on the lives, you really can't see the details. These look like bumblebees, you guys. That is so cute. But there's just some really nice, fun bracelets. I put a variety in, some small, some large. So that lot sold for $32. Okay, the next item that sold was this Gold Brooks Robinson card. Um, in a sleeve that sold for $12. Okay, the next item that sold, see I have a lot of fit and eggs. I have four over here and I have four over there. So I brought eight eggs last night. I had pulled out six and I had to pull out two more. So the first egg that sold is this beautiful Rosaline. I think that's how you say it. It's a pink Fenton egg that sold for $30. 
okay? These next items right here were these five, let's see if I can zoom in a little bit, these five red resin horses. I sold those for just $10, okay? The next item right here was this Lily Pulitzer bag. It's in really good condition. Doesn't look to be used. That beach bag, it's a beach bag. See, that sold for just five bucks, okay? <sighs> I gotta breathe, guys. I needed to breathe last night. All right, the next one that sold is this bulldog right here, this NASCAR bulldog. Still has a tag on it, it's a little bit bent. And that sold for just five bucks. Okay, an item that didn't sell was a Lakers jersey. That's what I showed next, but that's okay. I'll probably put that on eBay. Okay, the next the next lot that sold was the second row of bracelets right here. That lot sold for $30. There's some really, if you can see it, hopefully it's not blurry. There's some really gorgeous bracelets in here. Um, this right here, I didn't get to explain it. This is a wraparound. I think this is Premier Jewelry super super neat bracelet love that one so some really fun bracelets in there and then this one keeps falling so really pretty so 30 bucks whoops so sorry you guys i'm trying to adjust my video here okay so 30 dollars on that row, row row not roll of bracelets okay the next item that sold was a fenton misty blue egg this one right here, super pretty. Look at the gold on this egg. Look at the pearlescent. I hope you can see that. So pretty, so, so pretty. Okay, that one sold for $32. Okay, the next item that sold were these figures right here. These are actually commemorative 9-11 figures. Fire Department, New York. See, super fun. So those sold for just $7. Okay, the next item, let's see. It's this craft bag. This has three pounds of jewelry in it, broken or just single earrings, three pounds. And I sold this for $12. Lots of stuff in this bag. Um, there actually is a lot of neat stuff in here. There might even be pearls in there. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Okay, the next lot was this DVD lot. This was a kids and family DVD lot that I put together. There were 25 videos and I sold that lot for $15. Okay, the next item was a blue fashion necklace and earrings that did not sell. That was the only other item that didn't sell. So I still have that. Um, and then the next item that I showed was the Fenton Cobalt Blue Looking Egg. Love this one. Let's see if I can zoom in on it. Look at this, it was a koi. How beautiful, whoops, sorry. How beautiful is this egg? There you go, look at that, it's just gorgeous. I love this one. That is so pretty. Okay, so that egg sold for $35 right there. Okay, the next item was this set of four pewter clowns. Robin said, I hate clowns. <laughs> That's funny. So I'm gonna kind of show you guys the details. It's really hard to show on a live. You just don't get the full details of some of these items. Um, so those four clowns right there sold for $15. Okay, the next lot was a, the third row of bracelets. Let's zoom in on that. So 25 bracelets, again, on all of these. Um, this, third row to, this third row, I can't say row, guys, sold for $33. Look at that wraparound. So pretty, every time I try to get in there. And this right here, this one is really thick and just beautiful. So there's some, there's another wrap around right there, the blue. So there's some really fun pieces. I try to mix it up. Um, I do have some small individual pieces, but then I put, you know, I try to mix it up. So lots of neat stuff there. So $33, I, uh, we're, 
Words are hard, guys. Words are hard. $33 on that bracelet lot. Okay, so the next lot was this remote control NASCAR right here. That sold for just $15. $15. Okay. The next lot, more pewter figures. Um, these two Wizard of Oz thimbles. I sold those for $10. Look at that. Super cute. The Scarecrow and Dorothy. Those are adorable. Okay. The next lot was another Fenton egg, of course. This one is a ruby red. And it's really hard to see. Let me see if I can zoom out a little bit. So this one sold for $30. It's really pretty. Like you really have to just hold it up in the light to see how beautiful it is. Um, like I said, if you wanna see the review of the auction last night, I'll put a timestamp on there so you can see. I held the light up to it and I'm using my phone so I can't hold the light up to it. But it's a little girl looking out right there. Okay, $30 on that. So the next lot, <laughs> this was really funny. Baby shark puzzles, I had three of them and I sold all three of them for $5 a piece. It comes in this little neat wood box. There's five individual puzzles in it, super cute. Rhonda started singing baby shark last night. It was really funny. So all of three of those ended up selling, okay? The next one, gosh, can I take a breath? Okay, the next one is this Fenton French Opal. See, that has a really pretty pearlescent look to it as well. Fenton French Opal egg, a little bit frosted with some pretty white flowers. Okay, that egg sold for $32. Okay, the next item, oop, it's a sports lot, hang on. Okay, you guys, sorry about that. I just realized I, this was one lot I did not have in here. Okay, so this is a sports lot. There were f six items. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six items. Five of them were shirts. Yes, five of them were shirts, and then there was a pair of basketball shorts. This sports lot sold, I was asking $40 for it. So here is a pair of Longhorn basketball shorts, okay? E-N-Y-C-E, -E, Sean Combs, 3X shirt. That shirt looked really cool, okay? This shirt was really cool. This is like a hockey jersey, super cool. Not sure how old this one is, but that one's awesome, okay? Then we had, whoops, there we go. We had a Longhorns dry fit polo, okay? And then we had a Sooners shirt, mesh, you know what I mean, Nike. And then we had a PGA Tour OU shirt. So these items, this lot sold for $40. All right, guys. So the next lot that sold is this lot right here. I didn't even get a chance to lay these out. They sold so fast, I was holding them in my hand. But this is a pewter lot of castles and dragons. I actually threw one random pewter flower in there. Um, there were 10 items total in this lot and it sold for $20. So let me kind of show you a little bit since I didn't get to show it last night real thoroughly. So my camera is like not wanting to focus. So I apologize if there's anything blurry. So this is the one random flower there. Okay, so some of these are super, super cool. Look at that. They have these little like, whoops, stones on them. Um, and there's wizards, super cool. All right, so that lot right there sold for just 20 bucks. Okay, and then the next lot that sold was row number four of the bracelets. Again, there's 25 bracelets in this lot. Um, that sold for $35, okay? So there's some really fun, really awesome bracelets in here. Um, just random, some wrap around. That one, I love this one. I've had that one for a while. So just some really fun stuff.
stuff. So $35 on that lot right there. And no, I did not test any of my jewelry. I think most of it's fashion jewelry, but hey, it's an added bonus if it's not. Okay, the next lot that sold was this lot of DVDs right here. There were 25. It was action, thriller, and horror. Um, see, Willard, Twisted, Ugly, The Fog, Missing, Resident Evil, Open Water, Sin City. Just a random assortment. 25 DVDs that sold for $15. Okay, the next lot. Let's see, where am I? Okay, the next lot was another Fenton Egg, of course. Loved this one. This was another one of my favorites. This is a rooster. Super pretty. See if you can see it. Dark green. This one sold for $35. Look how gorgeous that one is. This is one of my favorite ones. So, yeah, I brought this one last night. Love. Whoops. It likes to go blurry on me, guys. I'm telling you. Okay, so I love that one. $35 on this one. All right. The next lot was, was, were these Vaseline glass pocket watches. If you're not familiar with Vaseline glass, it's got uranium in it. So you have uranium glass and Vaseline glass. I'm pretty sure the ones that they call Vaseline glass have the yellow tint in the daylight and the ones that are called uranium have a green tint. Someone will probably correct me if I'm wrong. These were, I had 10 of these. They have a buck on them. You can't really see that. Um, go back and watch the auction if you want to see what it looks like under the black light because I did put it under the black light. And, I just don't have time to do that right now. Okay, um, let's see. The next item that sold was this just, oh my gosh, my camera is going blurry. Okay, this little wooden train. Um, it's not handmade. It has somebody on the bottom. It was stamped, whoops, one of them was stamped. Stamped Barlow's Toys. But there was a handwritten date, 1986, on there. I sold this wooden train for just $5. Gotta move the inventory, guys. Gotta move the inventory. Okay. The next item was this lipstick case and watch with the tag on it still. Super cute. Just a fun, looks like a little miniature purse. I guess you could use it as a coin purse if you wanted to. I sold that for just $5. Okay, the next item is this Jules Jurgensen watch. Beautiful watch. I sold this watch for just $10. Look how gorgeous that is. All right, so the next item that I sold was this Dexter. He was used, full disclaimer on this one, is he had a little bit of wear on him because he is used but I sold him <laughs> bobblehead here's the back of him so he sold for five bucks okay the next item is another Fenton egg this was a milky white egg with pink flowers has some gold inlay on it super pretty okay that egg sold for thirty dollars okay the next item that I sold was this cloisonne elephant. Super pretty. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? So pretty. All right, and that elephant sold for $15. Okay, this is when I was like pulling stuff out because I ran out of lots that I had prepared. So some of this stuff I had to pull out. So then, excuse me, I sold this Chico's necklace and a pair of earrings. And I sold those for $10. Okay, the next slot I brought out were these two. Well, if my phone focuses, awesome. These two Madame Alexander dolls here. Um, I sold the pair of these for 30 bucks. There's Gone with the Wind Rhett right there. And then over here, you have Napoleon. 
So those two dolls sold together for $30. All right, the next lot that I sold was another cloisonne piece. This little butterfly right here. This is when my chat stopped on me on my computer and I didn't realize that it sold. Um, but this butterfly sold for $15 as well. Really pretty there. Okay, and then the next lot I sold, I can't believe how many lots sold is this beautiful Fenton egg that was Milky White Angel. Um, that one sold for 35. Look how gorgeous that is. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So pretty, okay? So that one sold for $35. And last, and but not least, is this necklace and earring set right here. These sold for $10. So all of these items, crazy. Plus the sport lot that I don't have in the picture right now. Sold in 45 minutes. Crazy, crazy. All right, so now that this is all over with, um, if you guys want to go back and watch my previous video, I bought a storage unit la um, this past week. Part one is out. I'm going to have to work on parts two and possibly three. And then watch auctions this week for another one or two storage units. I don't know. We'll see if the price is right. You never know. All right, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you guys for your support and watching my YouTube channel and purchasing from me at auctions. It means a lot to me. Um, I had so much fun. I enjoyed it. And guess what I'm going to be doing now? <laughs> OMG. Um, I love you guys. Thanks so much. And we'll see you next time.